for this week's video, I am going to be copying this masterwork. This is an assignment for my representational painting class at college, and I'm very excited and I hope you will like this. This is a new practice for me, and as you can see, I've already done the underpainting, which, was, which consisted of taking one color of paint and putting a glaze over the entire canvas and then using a cloth to wipe away the paint to make it lighter in some areas and then using a brush to put on paint to make it darker in other areas. So I'm really excited. You will not actually see this in the final painting because I will be painting the next layer on it. So first, gotta mix up the paint. So for the paint, I just mixed a simple gray scale and then I will use the same paint that I used for the underpainting and mix it into the gray scale to kind of warm it up and give it a slightly more natural but still monochrome or achromatic. <laughs> feel to it so that I will still meet the requirements for this assignment plus I was very pleased with how the colors went together and so as you can see I am beginning to co completely cover the underpainting and this is done with a very wide brush I'm just covering as much as I can and basically guessing and doing quick estimations of the tones for everything because it'll be much easier to edit and perfect it once everything is painted. So after everything is painted I started going a little more strict with the detail and the different tones. This is actually my first time ever painting a, a portrait so it was a very big learning curve. There was a lot of mistakes that I had to try to fix, but it was really, it was a really fun study to learn how those masters had learned to construct a face. I will eventually have to do a self-portrait for this class, which will be much more difficult trying to do it from a live model other than, than what I'm doing here, which is just copying what has already been perfected. And while this may not be a perfect copy, I was very encouraged and happy at the result, which you will see at the end of the video. But for now, I am just slowly trying to edit and trying to smooth, and it was really hard not to make the eyes, nose, and mouth just look that it was kind of pasted on. And I, I did try to make the background very textured because that's what it looked like in the painting and I was trying to copy that as well as possible so I tried to put very thick painting or thick paint on it because I do not usually do that. I usually prefer very smooth paint but in light of trying to copy this painting, I tried to copy the techniques she used, or she or he used, as well as what the actual picture looked like. And since I am using an achromatic color scale, I will obviously not be matching the colors she used. But an interesting fact is that we were learning what a how a masterwork was created. So a masterwork would have consisted of the underpainting that you saw, and then the layer that I am doing, and then they would have continued on to put color over top the layer that I am doing. So while I stopped what they would call a step early, it was still, in my opinion, a very nice and complete artwork even without the color added onto it. I almost preferred the different tones and just the beautiful warmth that it kind of brought to the painting. 
And while a face is so hard to do, I am very excited with how it turned out in the end. And I'm very encouraged on how I might be able to accomplish my future self-portrait. And I'm hoping that this will work out good. This was actually the second painting of this class. I did not video the first painting. And this is this class is the first time I've ever ever used oil paint so it was a very new experience I usually only work in acrylic so it was really weird working with all the chemicals and having to wear gloves and it was just really fun but really odd because it oil paint just worked different than acrylic would because I just it was a really fun learning experience as you can see, it was not a perfect copy, but I absolutely loved it, and I hope that you enjoyed watching the process, and I really hope that you liked my final product. It, I am still learning, but aren't we all? <laughs> so I hope you have a wonderful day. If you have any critique or feedback, I would love to hear it. And please like and subscribe. And, well, just have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Alright, bye!